game of the week. What's up, guys? It's Kev. It's time for game of the week. Again. And I am in the AMX, or not AMX, <laughs> F4A1 Revelerize on Erlenberg, and I have no engine sounds for some reason, so, well, this is going to be an interesting video, so I'm going to have to talk a little more because I'm not going to be drowned out by my engine. Outstanding. So, this tank is a glass cannon. <laughs> The only thing really good about this tank, honestly, is alpha damage at 390 and shell velocity on standard rounds at 1460 at tier 8, which is insane. Uh, the premium rounds have 250 heat pin, uh, which isn't terrible, but it's not great. And uh, the shell velocity kind of sucks on them, honestly. Uh, the high explosive rounds are nothing to write home about. I mean, they're pretty standard 105 millimeter. High explosive rounds at high tiers. Let me switch that real quick. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to show off some really quiet gameplay today, apparently. Let's just see. Let's just see. Let's just see. Let's turn all the sound off. Let's turn all the sound back on. Oh, okay. Vehicles all the way down. Vehicles all the way up. Nope, not working. Oh, well. At least we still got gunfire. That works for me. So, um, as you can see, behind me is a uh, T-54 E1. Oops. How do I do this? There we go. So, this guy. I'm not going to show his name or anything, because that's just mean. Um, but, yeah. Well, I guess you can look at it for yourself. Um, what are you doing, sir? <laughs> I understand that the T-54E one's not the, the best tank in the game. Doesn't have the best armor. And I'm already kind of um, angry about this. Um, but, yeah. So, he's just going to sit there. And after that point, I was just like, ah, eh, well... I need to uh, make a place somewhere. I gotta bait them in here, or, or try and snipe across at the, the other flank. This is not a tank where you can just kind of like go in balls to the wall and uh, expect to bounce shots, because you're not going to bounce anything. So really, you just gotta play aggressive enough to get damage, but not so aggressive that um, that you just die immediately, right? Unfortunately, apparently my entire team thought they were playing a Rivalrize, and uh, nobody decided to play aggressive. I guess they decided to play aggressive on the 8-9 um, line over here. So we're going to try and use the bushes, and uh, boom. Right into the tracks. Great first shot, <laughs> four minutes into the game. This really doesn't look like a Game of the Week style video, does it? Don't worry, it gets better. Linton's not there anymore, unfortunate. We're just gonna... We're just gonna chill for right now, we're vibing. We're vibing. The vibers be vibing. Still, this engine sound thing, man. I don't understand it, but there's our first shot of damage, 451. Shows how great the alpha damage on this uh, pretty shitty medium tank is. And obviously he's just going to look at me. So I'm going to look at him inside of uh, my camera and uh, make sure I don't get shot by him. Oh, Progetto 66 comes out. So we're going to wait until the TNH starts to turn his gun. Progetto starts to turn his gun towards me, but it's okay. We just come out. Boom. 360 into the Progetto. 10 second reload. Not great. Not bad though. Could be worse, could be much better. Um, Try to put one into his ammo rack there, I think. Honestly, I think that's what I was trying to do. Just to, to slow his uh, stuff down a little bit. I'm gonna take a shot here from that Brigetto, I believe. Or not, never mind. 
And he's just gonna rush out towards me. He's now a one shot. He's not even gonna get the shot off. Goodbye, Brigetto. And just like that, we're up to 2,000 damage and a kill. And our Brigetto 66 friend is now dead. We're gonna back up a little bit, try and get unspotted. Defender's just gonna drive right in front of us. We're gonna hit him for 400. Easy damage right there. And then we get spotted by the defender, obviously. We're just, uh, we're looking for angles to punish the enemies at this point in the game, right? So disaster there. I thought I could go down a little lower with my aiming and uh, pin this aside, but I was wrong. So, oops, my bad. Now, uh, you would expect this to be a very good sniper with the uh, 1460 shell velocity that it has. Um, yeah, no. This thing has uh, really, really quite bad accuracy. Uh, the aim time's not bad, though. However, um, I believe it's like two seconds, which is really not that bad for a tier 8 with a 105mm gun, and it has relatively decent uh, dispersion. I'm gonna move and by turning the turret, we're gonna smack the chariots here for 400 damage. Easy money, right there. And you're gonna see, there's gonna be a lot of money at the end of this game. So obviously, those of you who follow me on Twitch may see that, uh, yeah, this is on my main account. And this was one of the few battles that I played on my main account this week. <laughs> I've been playing a lot on my alt account, trying to get it up to a tier 10. That tier 10 of my choice being the VZ55. Um, just because the tier 9, I really enjoy the tier 9. So if it's a tank that I can actually enjoy and uh, play pretty well in, then uh, it's going to be pretty good for tier 10, right? Oh, obviously, I love the VZ. It's one of my favorite tanks in the game. Uh, but the the tier 9, for whatever reason, I just really enjoy the tier 9. We're going to track the Pershing in the open, get some tracking damage out of this, and uh, we end up getting a lot on our Mark of Excellence in the end of this game. Don't know why it's not showing up in the replay, the Mark of Excellence mod, but it's, uh, it's okay. We're going to try and put one in the T30. Probably should have aimed it a little more. I thought I was going to get spotted by the, the Pershing or something. I don't... I don't remember, this was on, like, uh, Tuesday. And I've had a very, very long week. So, if you, uh, if you don't know, I live in the southern part of the United States, and, uh, right now it's not exactly a good time to live in the southern part of the United States. Uh, springtime, normally, uh, pretty, pretty bad for, um, allergens. Like, really, really bad. So. I've been dealing with that all week. And, uh, yeah. I just haven't really been uh, playing a whole lot. And, uh, I think I had two streams last week, maybe. <laughs> just trying to get, you know some content out for you guys while I'm not feeling the best, you know. Smack the KPZ in the side. Four. Four twenty-eight. Not bad. We're gonna get stunned by the Artie, but since we're in a reload, we're gonna go ahead and heal that stun. He's gonna continue capping the base. Unfortunately. And, uh, pretty quickly the enemy team's gonna realize... I'm the only one here, which is rather unfortunate for me, because there's no reason for the EBR and the Barask to be that far away from the cap circle. Now, obviously, they're driving back now, but the enemy team's already noticed that I'm alone, so... That yeah, was an AP round, okay. And we're gonna die. With only 3,000, two, or 3,832 damage? How could this possibly be game of the week? 
Well, uh, I'm not sure, um, honestly, <laughs> what exactly happened for, uh, because I didn't, I don't remember seeing any blind shots, but, uh, yeah. It's gonna be some blind shots. Now, obviously, I'm, I'm watching the rest of this mauling as, a these two struggle to take these tanks down inside the cap circle. And all they had to do was not go for that T-30 and help me defend the cap circle, and we won the game. But, it will be a defeat. He could have also killed the T-30 there. Um, yeah. But, it is what it is. We're gonna lose. But, I'll see you guys in the post game. And we're back with the post game stats, which, uh... You might notice show a little bit different numbers than we saw at the end of the game. Apparently we hit two blind shots. Uh, not one against the Lanson? Maybe it was one against the Lanson. Maybe that just low rolled and didn't kill him. And I believe maybe one against the ISU 152K. But anyway, it's a cracking result. Obviously top on the team, top in the game and damage with the high caliber in the Revelerize. Ace tanker for 868 base XP. You've got to remember that for courageous resistance, ups your base XP. So this is actually a base XP total of, I'm doing math, oh God, 1300. It's around 1300 base XP, which is uh, kind of a low. Um, amount but oh well uh we make nearly two hundred thousand credits profit we go we went up by like four percent on the mark of excellence for this tank in this game alone this is just like i played two games in this tank last week and the other one was 2600 with uh some spotting in there too so just a good week for the revelries i guess uh, a confederate for shooting at like over half of the enemy team <laughs> uh, it doesn't show vehicles damaged anymore does it no dang anyway we shot one two three four we also shot him one two three four five six seven eight Nine. Nine of the 15 enemy vehicles also tracking, I believe tracking, yes, also tracking this T-30, which I believe is also included. Do you have to cause damage? You have to cause damage or crit, yes, so. Had 10 tanks going towards the Confederate and then two minus because it kills. You don't get, um progress towards a confederate medal if you kill the tank, which is weird, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, but... 4,600 damage in a revelries is nothing to scoff at, so, uh, yeah. This was a fun game. Until we lost. But anyway, that's the revelries. That's game of the week, and I'll see you guys next time.